probably are. Now, have you guys ever played that ninja slice game? This is even more fun. I'm not gonna lie. All right, we are at Wally World. Why are we Is at Wally that World? Wally World? Wasn't that a movie? That no, it was in a movie. Yeah, but family vacation. Yes. Mm. So Good we're movie. at Walmart because we've got to do some shopping. We've decided we're gonna make our own sprays. We're gonna try it. We're gonna try it. We are curious. So, as soon as, as soon as we said it, the light bulb went off. You probably yep, saw it on the yep, video. Yep, we saw it and it exploded. And we should grind them up and put them in a sprayer and spray them. <laughs> Blend them. <laughs> anyway, we gotta go buy some supplies. So that's what we're here to do. We'll probably see some interesting people. You always do. Plus tomorrow's the dove hunt. So I gotta, I gotta pick up some licenses. Ooh. Two for one. Two birds, get it, two birds. Two birds, two one spiders, stone. one stone, we're out. <laughs> cheesecloth. Why do we need that? Give your van away. <laughs> cheesecloth. We're going to squeeze some junk out of some hedge apples. Wait. Some Osage oranges. They had, uh, they have them for like 18. I think this one's 18 or 20. Here we go, 18. So if you go with the $18 one, do you get the $18 blades? They're, they're dull. You have to sharpen them Probably. Yourself. You better get some blade sharpeners. <laughs> Top end, 168. Whew, we don't want to spend that. We got to come back down. Hey, there's a ninja. <laughs> if we get one, can't we leave it at the office for the office to use? You're, you're going to hedge apple and then leave it for somebody to use? I wonder if it'll work. It's going to destroy it. You think so? Oh, yeah. Okay. So we got everything on our list, but apparently Ryan needs licenses or something. We're talking about getting a scooter or three, because you I'm, know you're gonna break one. Well, I, I was riding them the other night. My neighbor got got a couple. Hmm. Well, telling me I need them. You didn't tell me we need them. We need them, Ben. Where the heck did we park? At the end. Oh, okay. We needed some exercise because we had lunch. <laughs> uh, got a blender. Cheap. They asked us if we wanted the two-year protection plan. Yeah, for 12 bucks. <laughs> and we started chuckling. Because <laughs> that's just mean. Well, we know it's going to be broken in 45 minutes anyways. <laughs> Uh-oh. We got our cheesecloth. We got our cheap blender. And Ryan got his license. And we're starting a new pesticide. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's it's all natural. That's what I'm saying. Oh, all natural. All green. natural. It's a green it's truly product. truly green. Yeah, it, they start out green. I don't know what they're going to end up like. <laughs> Milk. Now that I'm opening this, I'm thinking we should have got the extended warranty. All right, so. Hey, I think you thought I was joking, but in all of my trucks, I have two machetes. <laughs> Especially, I had one until the river trip. Now I've got two. <laughs> for sushi. Yeah. Not, not... No, for hedge apples. Hedge apples. So, <laughs> here's what we're planning to do. We're planning to harvest the spider goodness out of some hedge apples. Tis the season. And that's something that's important to bring up too because hedge apples are only around once a year. So unfortunately, unless we can develop something that makes this last once we make harvest it, I don't know how feasible this is, but we're gonna do it right now because we can. Do they have hedge apples in Florida? I don't know. Because Neil from Florida. Tell us, do they have hedge apples down there? And if they do, maybe we could get them year round down there. Ooh, maybe they're orange down there. Those aren't hedge apples. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're gonna chop up. What part do you think we need to put in this mixture? All of it or mm. mainly the center or the outside? Or no, because again, the ones that died, we had one that was completely cut open. So I think it's both parts. And then the exterior killed one because it was the full hedge apple. Yep. So I, I think we will do a little slice and dice and mix it all. <laughs> all right, well, we're gonna, we're gonna get go to a it. little ninja <laughs> on this. I didn't know how many to bring, so 
I brought a bucket. Like, quite a few. Okay, I grabbed one hedge apple and I'm already sticky icky icky. Oh, look at that. I think they're more effective when they have a leaf on them. We already got three. Does this it is help gonna... that I hit nails with my freaking machete? Still those. I know. Those probably are. Now, have you guys ever played that ninja slice game? This is even more fun. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> You want to do a few? No. We may not have shown this last time. There are seeds. You can see them all around the outside there. Before the Milky Goodness Center. And apparently that's what the squirrels go after. Verified online. Should we taste them? No. Well, you can. <laughs> I got your cutting board. Look at that. Woo! Get a bucket. Hey, so we've been doing some shout outs for some people, but I've got a good buddy over in Boston. He's going through some cancer right now, some stage four, and uh he's he's not feeling so hot so if we could all give a shout out to joe in in the boston area um hope he's feeling better but yeah just letting you know we're thinking of you so just be strong joe for all of us your family all of us your friends hope you pull through just fine I don't think this is going to go through a spray nozzle, so we're probably going to have to dilute it. But it truly does have the consistency. If you look at it, if you guys have ever cut up a pineapple, it kind of has that grainy look like a pineapple. Kind of weird. But the outer edge is sticky. Oh. And again. I almost lost a finger on that one. I'm not going <laughs> to lie. If I keep this up, I'll match my rodeo buddies who have all lost fingers from roping. <laughs> Serious, look at this. It's sticky, yeah. We need stick -a vision Is that the close-up? The good news is we tested simple green. <laughs> Apparently the stickiness from the hedge apples, simple green is one of the only things that removes it because soap didn't. Okay, the longer this sits, Oh my gosh. So if it doesn't work as a pesticide, we can make a glue. Glue. <laughs> Gorilla glue right here. Hedge glue. Isn't one of the names for these monkey something? Monkey so it'll be monkey glue. Hey, anybody tell me what the movie is? Come on. Come on. All my 80s people. Chunk. Sloth. Goonies, remember the blunder scene? All right. I'm gonna use the hand that's already sticky. Oh, I got it. Should we just drop them or wait, put them in and then start it? No, 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 I think you're gonna want the lid on it. <laughs> I wouldn't fill it, I would just do some and see how it does. Go with full, full water. Oh, we're gonna need some water. <laughs> so we're, <laughs> we're putting some water in it through a busted jug. Yeah, you want to set that outside. All right, so hedge apples alone equals plug up the blender. Ooh, that's getting to be a smoothie. Need a little more water. Need less hedge apples. They're getting. <laughs> Seems like a smart idea around all the electricity. Oh, yeah. You 
definitely get what you pay for with blunders. This has about an eighth of the power of my blunder at home. But his wife said no to using the blender for this. I think she's pretty smart. Don't, don't do that and we'll dump that out and start over. Get it to a nice puree. puree. Okay, more water. Do it the right way. Nope. <laughs> I think I'm going to get a different jug. What's this smell like? Nuts. <laughs> it really does. Creamy, salty, sweet, and oaky nuttiness. You detect that? Oh, I'm detecting nuttiness. Close your eyes. Like a milky nut. Oh, Can you say milky nut? You just did. He said it. It does smell like milky nuts. Don't don't squirt it all over me. Oh gosh. <laughs> Have you guys ever been? A lot of you probably haven't. But if you go to uh, areas where a lot of cattle are, this is the sound that comes out of the back of them. <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> it's the little things that get Ryan going. Makes me happy. You know how long this is gonna take? Should have paid for the manufacturer defect, $12. We're about to burn a motor up, that is for sure. Oh. So this is literally a green product. Hey, pun intended. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> the seeds look like lemon seeds. I mean, it looks almost, okay, now it doesn't look tasty. Never mind, I was gonna say it almost looks tasty like a nice, smoothie but with those seeds it's not so smooth well it makes me wonder if all that water is going to make it too diluted but we can't mix it up otherwise i think the water content is going to be fine we need something to be able to spray it spread it on pesticide products it's typically an ounce of concentrate per gallon to 10 gallons, depending, so. Ben's giving away our trade secrets. It depends on what it is. You can all read labels. <laughs> but we gotta figure out how we're gonna strain and clean this stuff. All right, this is how you do it, Ben. I'll show you. Oh, we need to clean this out first. Yeah, well. We're gonna have to remember that consistency in the, in the. Yeah, this is very uh, Very scientific, scientific very exact. Four ounces per cheesecloth. Plus like a, a, a hint of SOS pad. <laughs> so I had never used cheesecloth before, but my dad did it a lot growing up when he was straining fruit for jellies and jams. So he showed me how to do this. And it's finally paying off. Okay, so you get your slurry in there. And all of you cheesecloth gurus are probably sitting here going, what a moron. And all of the pest control people are saying, where's your gloves? It's green. <laughs> and then put that around the building. That'll keep yep. the spiders away. It's definitely not as sticky and milky with the water added to it. So I'm hoping it still works. Mm. 
No added flavors or coloring. Yet. <laughs> we might add bubble gum flavoring to it. Oh, we could put juicy fruit in it. <laughs> <laughs> can we do those cool commercials from the 80s? Yeah, heck yeah. Hey, it's like a hedge apple minus the hedge. <laughs> Looks less brainy that way. Watch this. Oh. Well, we've got almost a gallon. <laughs> By the way, if you're looking for a couple of good Kawasaki's, they're still for sale. We just fired both of them up the other day. My hands from doing the chopping are still sticky, but that's weird that that residue has stayed with me but doing all the chopping or the uh, blending and grabbing it's not that sticky but again that stickiness from the beginning is still there why is there so much debris in here <laughs> because slow is fast and fast is slow Holy crap, there was a lot in there it's like coleslaw mm, eat it uh oh uh oh uh oh, we're slipping. You, he got me. Okay, well. well. Also, should we uh, sprinkle the remnants around too? We'll do that around our shop. Yeah, we'll do that here. It's not like we have major problems with spiders, but. We'll make sure we don't get spiders to see. We have this little bug walking through our work area. I don't think he likes the effects of the uh, hedge apples. <laughs> this guy walked through our stuff. He's wigging out. It's almost like a uh, tar, like a pine tar. Hmm. Have you guys ever had, uh, what do you call it? Pine cone tar all over you? You should use the simple green. You think it'll work? <laughs> it it works, on your hand. Last time? works on your hands. <laughs> all right, everybody, it's Ben. I just came over to Ryan's to give him some bad news. One of our trucks was just hit and is not drivable. And with my truck um, at the shop, he's gonna have to hook up to one of the trailers and we're gonna have to go pick it up. So this'll be fun. Not the conversation you wanna bring Ryan on a Friday. So I interrupt this program <laughs> to bring you another wreck. Well, had you been here five minutes earlier, you would have seen my mower in the pond and me pulling it out. But that's not the wreck. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I had to jump out and jump on the back tire so it didn't keep sliding into the pond. Oh, geez. All right, well, let's go see how bad this is. Okay, we're almost on scene. <laughs> it's gonna be on scene. up here to the right, I think. So I guess the good news is if Kevin did get hurt, the ambulance response time was amazing. Because <laughs> too he, soon, man. He hit an ambulance. I'm just trying to lighten it up a little bit. <laughs> it sucks. I hate dealing with this stuff. So, but we're gonna we're gonna see what's going on up here. We got Ryan's got triple B in the trailer. We're gonna scoop this thing up and get it out of eyesight, I guess. It was now. it was time to get triple B on the road again. Yeah, well, this isn't a reason to do that. Yeah, that we that we want to have. No, I think it's right. It's not this intersection. That's probably where that light is. Yeah, yeah, the stoplight. Or we, the, we're in the hood. Yes, this is. Hey, we may see our other trailer down here somewhere. Well, let's take a look. It was much prettier a couple hours ago. Yeah, when it was sitting in my driveway. 
This is misleading because this is just one plastic piece that's held on by three bolts. The problem is this is not misleading. Well, the whole core support's been. What'd you just do? I just took the piece off. I practiced yesterday. Did you? Replacing one. He's ripping grills off. This is the so I, this is my first accident that I've ever been into, like real accident. And I was so it's green light. I was almost all the way through that intersection. Did he slow down? No, he did not slow down. Uh, the sirens weren't on, so he must have flipped his or must have flipped on right before that intersection and smashed it. And there was nothing I could do. And the other thing is, is they didn't take my uh, they didn't take a report from me. They didn't ask me what happened, nothing, which I thought that was like what you're supposed to do. They didn't ask me anything. They gave me a number and said, you want to want this for your insurance company. So where was the ambulance coming from over yeah, there? Yeah, it's coming from right here. And so I didn't hear the light. Uh, there's no sirens, so I can only as and I hate to assume, but they must have got the call right there before they popped over this hill, and they must have hit it and, and blasted, and, and they didn't look. Both so there, there's a blind hill right here. He was coming through. There's no way he could have heard that or seen it, even if they did have it on. Well, you have a vehicle right here in the intersection too, so there's a truck sitting here. So I, I did have, a, not only there's a hill, but you got a, a full-size vehicle sitting here, and again, I'm, I'm, I'm over three, almost, well, not three quarters, but a little over halfway through the intersection, and they're right in front of me. So they didn't even slow down to come no, through the intersection. they did not slow down. So. <laughs> if, if I would have been paying attention. Could... So we dropped well, the truck it's, off. It's, it's pretty hot out. This is one of the hottest days of the year. I'm glad Kevin decided to do this today, and not when it's like October weather. <laughs> hey, so we just dropped the truck off, and then my truck throws a code. Yeah, it's we're we're in limp mode now. At least we're not hauling anymore. Well, well limp <laughs> is truly the walk of shame. Uh, what happened? We lost. It's not sucking fuel. The pump's gone. But did it shut off? It was rattling. So no. Oh. That means we're gonna cook. We're gonna cook. So the tow truck <laughs> is in you need can't of a tow. Even make this up. And the ambulance driver needed another ambulance driver to take them off. <laughs> oh my gosh, today has just been fun. Anyway, we were in limp mode. We were losing power and then we completely lost it. So we pulled over and we're going to have to be rescued by one of our technicians, I guess. So it's a good thing I have another truck, huh? Good, good thing. Where's your truck? Where's Kevin's truck? <laughs> All right, Kevin's truck is getting tires. My truck is still getting a transmission. And triple B's thing, down. Triple B's down. Good thing you have a backup. I got Huck. We'll go get Huck. <laughs> this this will be fun. At least we're practiced on loading a truck today, so we're ready to go. Hopefully we can. Oh crap! We're gonna have to point it downhill to get it up yeah. on the trailer. We'll keep you uh, posted on our progress of making it home today, <laughs> or not making it home. Well, we're playing the waiting game while. Uh, Justin takes Ryan home to get the other truck. By the way, it's like 104 degrees with heavy humidity. It's uh, it's 104 here in the shade, but probably about 110 out there. It, so and I know there's, got, got breeze, right? so. I know there's people that live in like Arizona that is way hotter, but humidity. It's way different. We have the humidity. I wouldn't want to be there either, but I don't want to be here in this. So. That's all I'm trying to say. Hey, there's the truck that just broke down. And uh, the truck that saved me. Yeah, it 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 served its purpose. It picked you up. Yeah, it did. Got Made it all the way truck. to the to the body shop and then kaput.
Well, I guess we should update on the situation, huh? <laughs> should we? We should, I mean... we should update on the situation. So our plan was to go get Huck and to hook the trailer to Huck and then load the truck and, and get home. Unfortunately, Triple B is too big. Does not fit on our new trailer. It'll only fit on the gooseneck. Story of my life. <laughs> we got it in between the fenders, but it was pushing them out. And then when he backed off, it was like trying to chunk your tires. So it's not worth losing two fenders to load that truck. Or my new tires. Or the tires. So, new plan. <laughs> Four hours later. <laughs> We're going to go back and unload this trailer and get the big trailer and then come back for the truck. Hey, the good news is the temperature is only reading 105 today. Oh, that's way down from <laughs> what I thought it was. It's pretty hot, but... Which I, you guys in Nevada and Arizona are probably laughing, but yeah. the reality is it's 77% humidity. It's really hot. So we'll, we'll get it loaded up and then we'll uh, take it to the doctor. I already, I already informed the doctor that it needs some work. The He's truck like, doctor. Bring it in. <laughs> but Caden, Caden almost got T-boned this morning too. So it's just a day of days. So don't drive today. Uh oh, this guy's going to try he, and make he us He has an orange hat on, so that's <laughs> it. What? <laughs> you dumb mother <laughs> Beep! <laughs> yep, I have to bleep that out. Honk your horn. Oh. That's not even the same way. You and then these guys... My gosh. Anyway, we, we, we're we not gonna make it home, first of all. <laughs> When's this world ending? <laughs> Apparently today at five. <laughs> oh, drivers suck. We've got somebody coming to look at the uh, jet skis Which today ones? too. The doubles or yep, the blue? Yep, the double. Oh. But we have a plan. We're gonna execute and uh, avoid all the potholes too. <laughs> <laughs> too soon, man. Did you tell him what happened? No, I didn't tell him. Thank goodness for uh, discount tire insurance. Yeah, he, he got the extended warranty and he's using it. So on my five hundred and thirty dollar tires. <laughs> P.S. Potholes hurt. Yes. So if you're gonna hit potholes, definitely get the insurance on the tires. Three tires that have already been jacked by potholes. Well, if they're that expensive, you may want to consider that anyway. So. Yeah. Now I'd say we have a big enough trailer. Let me see if we can get this thing put on here. That's a heavy truck, by the way. Like you didn't hit any underpasses? No, it's not that tall. Well, it's loaded and it fits. Now he's got to tie it down. I gotta go sell some jet skis. Alright, hey. So I'm gonna priorities. I'm gonna get out of here. Well, priorities, don't you want the money? No, I'm saying <laughs> it's not jet my skis money. These are priorities. <laughs> hey, we need to do this trailer too, so that's another priority. Hey, we got projects, man. We got projects. And Let's pick the hottest day of the year to do them all. You know what though? We came up with another fun one to do, so we'll have to stay tuned for that video. Yeah, well, we'll, we'll see how that works. Yeah. It's not very exciting here sometimes, but sometimes it is. <laughs> It's another day in paradise. Oh, Is that I'm what gonna, we call Missouri? I'm gonna hide this. Hide your Whataburger? <laughs> I had some tea bell. Let's start over. <laughs> Milky. All right. We could call it the Milky Way. Hang in there, Joe. We still like you. <laughs> oh, not good. Have you ever done cheesecloth then? Um, not for this. I've done it with uh, wild persimmons. I've, uh, yeah, I've done cheesecloth. <laughs> <laughs> I do that frequently too. Oh. That's weird. When you do it in it's that really light, yeah, it's too bright. Bright light. Maybe we have a nutritional shake we can do here. Mm. I guarantee you'll get sick, so you won't eat. So maybe it's a diet shake. 
because you lose your appetite. Well, oh. uh, that looks like what came out of the rodeo bull's butthole. How many times can we say butthole on our videos? Let's not. <laughs> Alright, brand new shoes. <laughs> this is where you spill all over. I'm seeing a spill in our future. <laughs> it. <laughs> it. Yeah, you department of ag. Piss off. <laughs> so you just squeeze this down, twist it. Bop it, turn it, flick it. <laughs> That's the as much products as they mix around here, this place should be glowing. But it's not. It's all safe, legal by the league. And, and beer. And beer. And beer. Because wow. after an accident, that's what everybody needs. <laughs> she figured he's not driving anymore. Okay. Back to our update. Oh, fuck. It's stinging my eyes. It's stinging. All that sweat. I wouldn't yeah. know I was in the cool. Nice. Okay, that's, that's nice of you to share that. <laughs>